Chrissy's court hearing tomorrow. I'm guessing she's gonna be back today. And you'll be out on your ear. Well, unless she's had a sudden change of heart, yeah. Or she's gonna plead. I've heard she's sacked a legal team, so what does that tell you? Well, some might say she's doing the right thing. Yeah, well, I'm not someone, am I? Here you go. How can I offer you professional advice when I'm not familiar with the case? I, I just want to know what might happen if Chrissy pleads guilty. Oh, there'll be a custodial sentence for sure, but her solicitors would have told her that. What solicitors? She sacked them. Which is why there must be something you can do. I mean, you must know someone who can help. It would be very hard to get up to speed on a case like this by tomorrow. And expensive. Whatever it costs. I'm just... I'm trying to do what's best for my wife. She's in no state to defend herself. OK. I'll make a few calls, but I don't promise anything. So what happened then? They just made a mistake? Well, to be honest, I don't care. Sarah's OK. That's the main thing. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Do you have a minute? Yeah. Might be best if we talk in private. Oh, yeah. What's that about? Uh, I guess him thinking he can still make it up to Chrissy. So, what's the news? Well, the short version is Chrissy has to plead guilty to arson because she's already admitted to starting the fire. Yeah, but she didn't know that was going to happen, did she? I mean, how could she? Exactly. Which is why she has to plead not guilty to the second charge of reckless arson. That way, the onus is on the prosecutor to prove intent to cause damage or injury to others. And um, what if they can't? Well, then any sentence would be greatly reduced. 